Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $88,006.11. In the past year, I am up $30,360.23. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $5,110.66. Today was a red day for me, as you can see I lost $898.23 during the day and after hours I am down $683.98. Now the good news is, if you look at how much I lost after hours yesterday, it was a couple thousand dollars and thankfully the market kind of recovered a little bit since after hours last night. So thankfully it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Because yesterday after hours, I was at 86,000, but now I'm at 88,000. So even though today was a red day, at least it's not as bad as after hours yesterday. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $573. I'm selling Disney $140 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $381. I'm selling Google $170 covered call. This expires June 21st. Total return, I am down $26. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $260. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $173.85. My average cost $98.95. Total return $22,473.44. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.10. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $8,860.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $112.18. My average cost, $60. Total return, $15,000. $654. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $153.19. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $1,071. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $29.30. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $635. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $62.08. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $876. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.49. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $236.10. I have 400 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $16.54. My average cost, $17.57. Total return, I am down $410. This is a margin account. My margin total is $102,000. $142.67. My total margin used is $95,504.61, which leaves me with about $6,638.06 .06 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $41,819.42. That's this green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is 
Now, if you look at my options, you can see that I have less positions than before. That's because today was the 19th. That was the expiration date for a lot of my options. And now that they're expired, they're no longer here. They're not in my account anymore. The covered calls that expired today, they're gone. For my covered call positions, all of the strike prices that I chose ended up being higher than what the stock price was during expiration. For example, for my covered calls on PayPal, I chose a strike price of $63, but as you can see, PayPal's stock price is below $63. So I still have my shares and all I did was collect the premium from the covered calls. So those covered calls that expire today are now gone. Now all I have left are the covered calls that expire on June 21st. The next thing I plan to do once the market opens on Monday is sell covered calls on the positions that don't have covered calls yet. So for example, the ones that expired today like PayPal and LUV, I'm going to sell covered calls on those. I just have to pick which strike price that I want. So that's my plan moving forward. And that's pretty much it. I'll update you guys on Monday on what I'm going to do and which kind of covered calls that I open. But for now, that's pretty much it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.